Today on the channel, we continue some Mandalorian unboxings, this time the Stormtrooper and the Target exclusive Remnant Trooper. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel. Today we got another Mandalorian Star Wars Black Series review, a little two for one video today. And for all your Star Wars needs, make sure you hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. So today, like I said, Mandalorian Black Series, we've got the Stormtrooper, our traditional Stormtrooper, back, re-released, reimagined. Uh, with a little differences I've uh, heard through the grapevine, so we'll see what we think, and we'll do a little comparison to the old Stormtrooper. And then as well, I figured we'd put it in the same video, the Target-exclusive Remnant Stormtrooper that has just recently been hitting the targets in the last month or so. Uh, in the last week, I've seen tons of these on the peg, so I think that's kind of our last chance. If you're looking for these, pick them up now while you can. It's a Target-exclusive, like I said. So let's start first with the traditional Stormtrooper, via the Mandalorian TV show. We'll take a look at the packaging like we always do. There it is. Stormtrooper looks just like the Stormtrooper we know and love from the past. Star Wars Black Series up at the top. You got the orange Mandalorian uh, pattern promotion, whatever you want to call it down there below. So you know it's a Mandalorian figure when you see that orange bar across the bottom and on the sides, of course. Uh, some other stuff on the side. Nothing fun on the top. Legal fun on the bottom. A boring side with a little plastic. But then the uh, mural side. We love this mural. We talk about it on every one of these Mandalorian videos and every Star Wars video lately. They all piece together, look really good when you have them all together. Uh, temporarily, at least for now, we'll see. I, maybe I'll change my mind, but I'm keeping the boxes for now. Uh, it just looks so cool. I'd hate to throw that away. I feel like I'm throwing away the Mona Lisa. Maybe, maybe not quite the same as that, but uh, something similar. Um, and then, of course, we got the back of the package. And there it is. Stormtrooper's got his gun. He's ready to go, ready to throw down. Got a lot of legal stuff down below. Of course, we got the blurb in multiple languages. Star Wars, the Black Series up top. Just really love the orange um, that tells us, hey, this is a Mandalorian line. You also got the number. Uh, remember the old school Star Wars Black Series had the number on the top on the sides. They put them down here below. So a little note there for you guys who don't know that. And let's read it. Imperial Stormtrooper. Stormtroopers are elite shock troops fanatically loyal to the Empire and impossible to sway from the Imperial cause. They wear imposing white armor, which offers a wide range of survival equipment. So there you go. Uh, these new Star Wars Black Series, we love the new packaging. At least I do. I think a lot of you guys do as well. Uh, one note is they're very easy to open from the bottom. I've found that is the best way to open up your Star Wars Black Series. So there you go. Open it from the bottom. Slide it out like so. There it is. See you later. You got the extra clamshell, which I think is a nice touch. See you later, clamshell. And how about the old plastic prison? There he is. Traditional Stormtrooper. When you think Stormtrooper, close your eyes. This is what you think of uh, in six-inch form, basically. Comes with his traditional shock. Shock? Stormtrooper uh, weapon. Blaster. There you go. See you later. There it is. Boy, this, yeah, it screams Stormtrooper. Uh, we've had Stormtroopers in the past. One of the most... Uh, one of the most, if not, well, it is the most. What am I saying? It's the most army-built troop in all of Star, Star Wars land. It has to be. Uh, you, people, stormtroopers, they, they want to build these like crazy. I don't blame them. I think you need multiple stormtroopers in your collection. Just one looks strange to me. Um, but, you know, space and all that comes into play every once in a while. But a solid stormtrooper uh, figure. Gotta army build these. I wish I would have bought a couple more. I always feel like three is the perfect amount for an army builder. I guess I have this remnant trooper, which we'll get into that. It's not quite, it's similar, but different, as we like to say. Uh, but love the gun on this one. Got a lot of motion on the head. A lot of motion on the head. And you got the little ribbed kind of neck collar on it. Uh, it looks really cool from the inside of the black. Really uh, contrasts to the white. It, it's, you know, it's the iconic stormtrooper look. But it looks really good as far as the black inside. It is ribbed. It's kind of got a raisedness to it. Uh, it looks very, very solid. No paint splatter. No paint issues. Oh, I take that back. I see the back now. It's like I got a little bit of Remnant Stormtrooper on here. I got a little scuffing on that shoulder there. I don't know if you can pick that up. But 
Just a little. I'm glad the scuffing's on the back side. Obviously, I don't display my figures backwards, so I won't have to look at that. But it is unfortunate any time you get uh, some damage to the figure or some scuffing of paint. Besides that, everything else looks real clean. A little bit on the back thigh, not terrible. Um, very hard to get black and white colors together. Uh, I don't care if we're talking Marvel Legends or talking anything else. It's very difficult to get that to, to work sometimes. Let's see if he fits on the old ringside collectible stand. Uh, a little bit of work, but yes, he does. So spend your feet, spend your money on your figures, not your display stands. That's what I always say. I got an old Stormtrooper. I'm sure there's some differences, but I'm not. Let's see. Definitely the head and the, yeah. So there's an older Stormtrooper. Very similar, but different, as you can tell. Uh, you got a holster on the old one, which we don't have on the new one. Uh, you got a little, like, backpack thing here on the new one. We don't have quite that same one on the old one. Uh, more pronounced belt on the old one than the new one. Uh, but the black behind the armor is much better on the new ones. I also like the smaller new helmet compared to this kind of oversized helmet on the old one. It's just a little big. Besides that, a lot of stuff is the same. Uh, the mouth uh, breathe holes on the old one are a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller on the new one. Uh, definitely more of a gloss to the new one than the old one, a little more dull paint job. It's the same body, but it's just uh, been changed a little bit. So yeah, very similar but different. you got to really look close to notice all the differences. The blasters are the same, of course. They're going to reuse that. But uh, very good. I mean, the Stormtroopers aren't easy to get. They come and go. Uh, we're always going to have Stormtroopers every couple of years in the line. You have to. I mean, they're they're a staple of the Star Wars line. I'm glad we got a new one for the Mandalorian. Obviously, with them being in the Mandalorian show, it makes total sense. I uh, would love to army build these. I would love to have three or four. I just 20 bucks is a lot when you get to army building and uh, display space and all that kind of fun stuff. But we'll see what the future holds. I do got the Remnant Stormtrooper. Let's get to him next. Let's talk about him. And uh, see what we think. All right, next up we have the Remnant Stormtrooper. Very similar to this. Obviously dirtied up, dustied up. And like I said before, this is a Target exclusive. So if you're looking for this, now is the time to hit your targets. It won't last long. It's not going to be there forever. If you want one, get after it. Also check online at Target for this one. But let's take a look at the packaging. Very similar to the last one that we've seen before. Uh, very similar. But just dirtier, grimier. That's just the way it is. But yeah, all the usual stuff we've seen. Nothing, nothing, legal. And of course the back. We'll read that in a second. And then the, the side carding. So the side carding is different for the mural like we talked about. Uh, it is on the end. So if you uh, don't have this one, your mural still kind of works. This being a Target exclusive. But it also fits in the traditional mural. So I do appreciate them doing that. This one I believe... It is numbered, so it says number nine. So I, I was thinking it was unnumbered. I, th I remember the old exclusives and the old packaging were always unnumbered, uh, but it looks like this one is numbered. So there you have it. Remnant Stormtrooper, the Empire is in disarray. The once pristine and uniform ranks of the Stormtroopers that fought for the Empire now resemble a ragtag army of mercenaries for lawless gangsters. So there you go. Um, this is one too I could see army building on. However, they're dustied up. It would be the same. I wish they would do something like no two stormtroopers are the same as far as uh, their you know dustiness, dirtiness on them. I think that would be a really cool feature where you know you just have little changes. You could have three or four, and they'd all be grimy, but in a different way. Uh, just make them different. I know that would cost a little bit more money, but I think it would be something really cool. You'd have some Star Wars fans going losing their minds wanting to buy a bunch of these. But let's open it up. Via the bottom, like we said before, it's the way to open these Star Wars the best. There it is. See you later to the side. There it is. Plastic prison, of course. Pop that off. See you later. So it's very dirty and dusty and grimy. It comes with the blaster we've seen before, the old plastic prison shot. We'll compare the two here in a second. Um, it's going to be the exact same figure, just a different, uh, different coat of paint, as a wise man once said. And see you later. See you later. All right. So, yeah, very, very similar to the last one. Moving it around. I don't see any pain issues. You know, I like how he's dinged up. I like how he's damaged. But it looks so so uniform. It, it doesn't look natural, I guess is what I'm saying. It it looks very, uh, very placed correctly on there. Like they were really painted on it. I would have liked more of a, an inconsistent splatter to it. 
Um, that's why I don't want to army build these because it would just look goofy because they all are dirty in the same way. So there you go. I mean, it is the identical figure to the last one, I am sure. Let's check it out here. Yeah, it is the same. It's just looks a little toasty like a marshmallow. It's really like a marshmallow that was in the fire. Just starting to get a little gold into it. Um, everything is identical to the other Stormtrooper. Just a little bit gold into it, a little dustier. Yeah, I mean, it's this very simple repaint. I don't know if I'd consider it a total cash grab as it, it is servicing a purpose for Hasbro as, hey, it's giving Target another exclusive, which makes Target all more happy as all these retailers, they want exclusives. Um, they want a reason for you to go into Target and hopefully buy the Stormtrooper. But guess what? If it's not there, hey, you're going to buy a gallon of milk. You're going to buy some paper towels, maybe some toilet paper, maybe a frozen pizza. Uh, that's what they're hoping, and that's what these store exclusives are for. Hey, Hasbro, you're going to get X amount of shelf space. Uh, you only get so much unless you give me X amount of exclusives a year. And then they tie it between Power Rangers and all the other uh, Marvel Legends, you name it. Uh, they work that into one big contract for shelf space, your modulars that drop two, three times a year, depending, and away they go. And that is a way to get people in your stores. And this could be used for Walmart, it could be used for Target. Even Walgreens, to a certain extent, as we see Walgreens exclusives with uh, the Hasbro properties. Uh, there's a method behind the madness. I know a lot of collectors hate exclusives, but they are a must. And it's not just toys. Uh, you know, I work in an uh, industry that deals with these stores, and I've dealt with Walmart personally and Target in the past personally on some of these issues, but not for uh, toys, but for food items. And it happens there as well. Hey, there's an Oreo that is exclusive to Walmart. There's an Oreo that's exclusive to Target. Uh, there's Entenmann Little Bites that are exclusive to Walmart or exclusive to Target. Stuff happens, not just toys, across the board. Even clothing. I mean, I could go on and on. That is the nature of the beast, and that's how uh, everybody works together in these things. It's quite the vicious cycle. But I always talk about it. We always got to put our business hat on, take a step back. I know we don't like store exclusives, but there is a mean, there's a means to it and a method behind the madness. So let me take off my business hat and put my collector figure hat back on. So uh, I do like this figure. It's okay. Is it a must-have? By no means is this a must-have figure. This is probably, if I had to rank all the Mandalorian figures, this is probably the one I like the least. It's not probably. It is. It's the one I like the least. It's the one you don't need the least. But I couldn't pass up a Target exclusive. A fresh case on the pegs, on the end cap. Said I got to have that mural complete. Got to have that Mandalorian uh, complete set, so I did pick it up, um, like I always do. But uh, definitely not a must-have. I would rather have had probably a couple of these just for an army builder than just uh, one of these. That's just me. You guys tell me in the comments what you think. Do you pick this one up? Is this an easy pass for you? Is it an easy cash grab? Kind of like uh, my belief. You guys tell me in the comments. You're already here. Like the video. Hit that thumbs up. And then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to attempt a Star Wars unboxing every single day in 2021. I want you guys to hold me to it. And the only way you're going to be able to hold me to it is to subscribe and make sure I'm actually doing it. Uh, big plans for the channel in 2021, so I hope you guys all stay tuned and uh, follow along on the madness. Uh, for the Stormtroopers, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.